The fight is on for the farmer vote in the 2020 election. President Tsai Ing-wen on Tuesday announced 800 million NT in subsidies for tractors and harvesters. Meanwhile, KMT presidential candidate Han Guoyu headed to the largery agricultural region of Jiayi to speak with citrus farmers. He said as president, he would spur exports to reach 30 percent of agricultural output. Tsai attended a large-scale agricultural machinery expo on Tuesday. In her onstage remarks, she pledged to help farmers minimize toil and maximize gains. I hereby announce that we will launch a subsidy package for large-scale agricultural machinery and become the farmer's biggest supporter. We will invest 800 million NT to subsidize the purchase of tractors and harvesters, two very important types of large-scale agricultural machinery. Also seeking the farmer vote, the KMT's Han arrived at Hua Tan Township's Pomelo and Tangerine Orchards early morning on Tuesday. We have to be able to export about 30 percent of Taiwan's agricultural and fishery products. The remaining 70 percent should be kept in the domestic market to protect Taiwanese consumers. The government can take the lead on this and help give farmers a good income. That is what we hope to do. During his stop along the agricultural belt, Han said he would enrich farms and fisheries by boosting exports. He pledged to raise the government's guaranteed purchase price for rice. The proposition drew an objection from the Council of Agriculture. The last adjustment was in 2011, and it came about because of the 2020 presidential election. Every time an election comes around, the guaranteed purchase price is manipulated. It is unfavorable to the development of the rice industry. We've thought up a system that's more comprehensive. This system gives farmers a set amount of compensation so long as they are farming. We expect it to start next year. The president and the premier have already agreed to it. Farming one hectare gets you 10,000 NT. That's more direct and practical than raising the guaranteed price by 3 NT per kilogram. In last year's 9-in-1 elections, the DPP lost by a landslide in agricultural communities. The Thai administration is scrambling to patch up its weakness as Han seeks to leverage one of his most loyal demographics.